okay, while you were away, I finished the silver on the trunk and the ears and the little feet all the way around, over here the ears. And I started, I put the blue in the blue eyes. That's in honor of my daughter Elizabeth. This is her home. She has ice blue, gorgeous eyes. So I'm giving the elephant ice blue eyes like Elizabeth. I decided to, I did a little touch up too. I mixed some more paint. The I mixed two colors together. Martha Stewart's Deep Sea, a drop of that into Anita's, um, oh, what's this called? Ocean Blue. <laughs> so I mixed the Deep Sea with the Ocean Blue and uh, got the color that she needed for her house. And I decided instead of leaving these tusks white, elephant's tusks are ivory, right? So I'm going to just give them a little touch of ivory. And speaking of touch, I have to touch up a lot. And that's what I did while I was not on film. I got this blue and I went around. There's a lot of little places I needed to touch up to clean up some lines. And honestly, I'll do that all the way to the end. There's always something where I go out of line or smudge or scrape or anyhow. I always need to, to touch up. And as I paint, these little critters, they kind of, ha, they speak to me. And they say, I want this, I want that, I want this color, I want that color. And uh, I sort of go with my gut. Okay, so now we have the little tusk. Our ivory, or her little tusk, if it's a her, I'm not sure. All right, so now <clears throat> the thing left, left to do is paint the base. And I had planned to do it all black and white, little stripes, little stately stripes, and little royal check squares, and some dignity dots, and Elizabeth wanted some this color yellow, which was in the chair that I showed you the picture of that bird that was this color, it's the yellow color. And what I decided, I'm gonna try it, I don't know, if it doesn't work, I'll paint over it. But I've decided to do this part, this flat around the feet in yellow, and then I'll probably put dots all over it to whimsy it up. I'm going to let's see. I think I'm going to pour some of this. I do this a lot. I pour this paint into the lid, and then that's my little container for painting. And I'm going to use the brush that I just stuck in the water. These brushes I love. <laughs> I'm going to have to find out what they're called. But uh, they're thicker, fluffier, but they hold a lot of paint when I want to do... Uh, just going to see what's going to happen if I put this on here. And it's just going to be on this part of the base. I just got a smudge on his tail. So that's a little place. Before this is over with, I will touch that up with the silver. got some paint on there and now I'm trying to smooth it out. Alright, I'm going to keep coming. Can you see? We're getting yellow on there. Honestly, I think it's going to look really good. It's going to be this pop of yellow amidst all this <laughs> ocean of uh, deep blue sea uh, color. And then I'm going to do little black and white, uh, I don't know if you call them stripes or 
stately stripes so royal squares and then I'm gonna do uh, the stripes here the stripes here the stripes here and on the front I'm gonna divide it up and do royal squares all across the front each piece has its own little way that it like I say, it speaks to me and says, oh, I want you to do this. I want you to do that. I think this will look good. And it just depends on what I'm painting. Elizabeth, the yellow is for you. Once again, the Q-tips, I just come up, if I come down over that too much, I just come back with the Q-tip and clean it up. I want it to be nice and straight. Oh boy, I need a fresh Q-tip, I'm making a mess. Make a mess, but you know what? It all cleans up. That's what I love. But you see the yellow? I can't touch it. I can't pick it up. Uh, I'm tempted to, but I can't do it right now because that's not totally dry up there. Now, I'm just going to keep coming around, all the way around with the yellow. And uh, I'm going to pause on that for a minute. I like to just go do some of this stuff not on camera to keep these films from being so long. I probably have the longest how <laughs> to videos on YouTube. My grandson said I'm old school. He is so right. I am old school. I am old. <laughs> I'm old now, I'm old school. But I can't help. I can't help who I am, and I can't change it. So, you know, maybe I'll get more professional with this stuff as I go along. Right now, it is old school. And I see lots of places where I'm going to have to clean up. it got on the silver. I don't know if I can get it off. I'm going to have to paint over it with silver because if I rub that, the silver is going to come off, I'm sure. I know I've done it too many times. So, anyway, I will touch that up around his little feet where I got yellow paint on his little feet. Alright, I'm about half done, so I'm going to stop. Is that making you dizzy? I love these turntables. They're awesome. The neighbor across the street gave me that little hint. She's a, she's an artist of. She's a well, I call her a real artist. She does paintings and oils and I'm not sure what all all the uh, mediums, but she said get you a turntable, a lazy Susan, and I did, and it's changed my life. Okay, there. Well, we got that far. I'm going to go. I'm going to grid where I'm going to paint, and then we'll come back, and we'll paint some black and white on here. And then we're going to whimsy it up in the end, and then we'll put a clear coat over it, and they will be look like porcelain. They'll be gorgeous, I promise. So let's take a small break. Okay, let's see. I have gridded the base. I'll show you that when I put the camera down low. And I did my marking with a little kid's little markers. Little markers that or whatever. All I know is, is if I can get them off. <laughs> Just like the gel pens. The gel pens don't work well on glass, so I have to I had to figure something else out. And this is what I figured out. These little uh, felt little markers that kids colored markers, colored crayons, whatever they are. They're like, not crayons, but <laughs> I don't know what you call them. Anyway, that's what I use. And 
I measured and I divided it up into uh, royal squares and stately stripes. And I measured and I have an even, I have the odd number because these, these are rectangles that I'm painting on. You have to have an odd number for it to start and to begin in the same color. And I'll show you that as we paint. So here we go. Okay. 